A tube, JW. Got a couple old school retro knives I want to show you guys here today. And not only do I have the knives, but I also have the old magazine articles to go along with these knives where you would send send off and and get them through mail order. And you know, a lot of the people that watch this channel are probably old enough and remember um, like for instance the Soldier of Fortune magazine 1989 there's the Edgeco ad on the back I actually have all of these knives. Full Auto 1989 Edge Co. Um, this is a little bit different model. This is the old pin model. Um, which you may have saw one identical to this in one of my last new arrival videos. But I got this sealed in the package Edgeco knife kit because a lot of people you know because the knife laws especially back then I'm dating this knife somewhere around probably 88 89 um, this is the Taiwan model and, and this is the unpinned bolster which was a little bit actually a little bit later model um, I have the black version of this put together with the black bolsters. I'm not going to open it up. Like I said, you know, I actually cut this open to get it out and look at it and take some pictures for Instagram. And, you know, I wanted to take a closer look at it myself. But it's been sealed in the package. So I'm not going to open it. But I thought it was cool. And there's different variations of this ad, you know, through the years. Um. I just always remember reading these old Soldier Fortune magazines and you would always see these Edgeco ads on the back and I would sit and look at these knives. And uh, a lot of people have commented on my videos over the years on these knives, how they got the kits and put them together because they weren't able to get the actual knife so they would buy the kit. And it's very easy to put together. But... One thing I will note is that this type of uh, automatic here, the later ones, were not as good, in my opinion, as the older pinned, heavier duty uh, pin models uh, seem to last longer. I, you know, I've got quite a few of them that still work really good. They're just heavier duty. Uh, better quality parts but yeah that's pretty cool uh, I didn't get this too cheap but uh, you, know, you don't see these come up uh, every day of the week that's for, well actually I've never seen one I mean I've seen a couple on sharper deals but um, you don't see them very often especially complete not put together and the price I got it for really it wasn't wasn't too bad. So that was 89. And I've got another soldier of fortune here. And this is a classic issue from 84 with Arnold on the cover when the Terminator came out. And on the back page, as you can see here, survival knife. Now this one's got the black blade, but you can see the 
the chrome model there in the background with all the stuff that comes with it and this is just such a classic uh, classic knife uh, everybody had one of these got it right here everything is still on the inside And you can still pick these up on uh, eBay pretty easily. Pretty common still. Compass still works. That's yeah, pretty cool. But it's also cool to. Uh, this feels like there's something in there. It's also cool to have the sharpening stone it's cool to have the you know the old ad to go with it the Lux survival knives are perfect companions for hunter fishermen campers high quality razor sharp blade 1995 Ooh, a lot for back then they didn't really hold their value too good. You can pick these up pretty cheap nowadays. So, anyway, I just thought I would show you guys that. It's pretty cool to look back on some of these old mail order knives. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Follow me on G Plus and Instagram. And, uh, I'll catch you on the